Egypt's armed forces escalating its rhetoric with these dramatic statements that many are going to perceive as ominous threats and warnings to the Muslim Brotherhood and supporters of the ousted President Mohamed Morsi. It's not clear what the outcome of these statements are going to be, but clearly they're already fueling the drama and the tension in this political conflict. The statements made by General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt's top military official. He was speaking at a military graduation ceremony, dressed in uniform and dark sunglasses. He called for mass demonstrations on Friday, and he called on on Egyptians to give him the mandate to fight terrorism and violence. I ask the Egyptians that next Friday all honest and trustworthy Egyptians have to come out. But why would they come out? To give me the mandate and order me to confront the violence and potential terrorism. In his speech, General Sisi did not name names. He didn't make any specific references to any political movement, but many are going to view this as a veiled threat to the Muslim Brotherhood and supporters of the ousted president, Mohamed Morsi. And you have to wonder, is this the armed forces signaling a more aggressive strategy against the Muslim Brotherhood? And if that's the case, is the strategy going to work or is it going to make things worse? For their part, the Brotherhood has already condemned the speech, calling it an open threat that's going to divide the nation. They've called for mass demonstrations, too, on Friday. So once again, the stage is set for another conflict on Friday in a conflict where the armed forces is playing an increasingly prominent role. As I say, as CNN, Cairo.